Top of the morning, gang. Hope this one finds you and yours well on this beautiful day. So she's going home. The, uh, the old JTM 45 uh, clone that ended up being a epic saga here in the shop where I had to basically find some use for a Dumble chassis so there weren't a bunch of uh, blank punch outs. Let me see if we can uh, get a little sound sampler going. Where are we? All right, we are uh, two feet away from a, a 412 loaded with a 100 watt Celestian GK12 100s, which is like the, um, the GT75 version, um, except the mids aren't scooped. And, and maybe it's not so sizzly in the high end. So, um, hopefully it's not going to clip the, the mic on this iPhone too bad, but we'll get a, an idea of what this thing can do. So, I uh, actually just implemented, um, a type four master volume from the train wreck pages. If you're familiar with Ken Fisher, uh, then you know what I'm talking about. So, um, I'll just start with the amp full up and this is uh, the lowest gain options on this array of switches. This just being a bright switch that'll impact the uh, the normal channel. If you need, if, if you happen to like the structure of the normal channel more, but need a little more brightness and um, maybe the presence or the, the treble knob isn't uh, putting it in a sweet spot for you, you'll have that as an option with this switch here. So let's see. So this will be clean. Clean on a pretty hot uh, humbucker at the bridge. So while we're here, let's uh, let's get the master down. And this is a, a actually a pre-phase inverter master volume. So with the limited amount of gain uh, produced in the preamp of this particular circuit, uh, you can't expect much. So you're not getting any drive from the, the phase inverter here. It's literally just what's available and, and a small handful of gain stages in a preamp. So. my money a little congested as master volumes typically do when you're barely cracking them open but not a bad sound all right so let's open her up a little more ungodly loud bridge <laughs> So 
let's um <laughs> let's kick in a, a little bit of uh, a, a little more gain and this is gonna add about three decibels of of gain on the uh, uh, rather uh, a signal lift of about three decibels over here in the preamp end so and it's it's it wants to run away I'm, I'm literally uh, eight inches away from this cab sounding clean crunch there then that's just literally the noise for my guitar I'll roll it down so uh, we'll kick in the, the larger gain boost which is <laughs> it's unbelievably loud and, and you can see this is just off <laughs> So this amp's a lot of fun, and I'm, I'm sad to see it go, truly. Makes me kind of sad, because uh, we've been through so much together. Let's see. <laughs> since it's a, a bit of a modified tone stack lift, it's gonna take your um, treble, middle, and bass out of the equation. However, because the tone is still being um, managed, it's not gonna leave you uh, with a boxy or flat sound. So it's still a wonderful sound. Not missing any of the frequencies. This finds you guys well out there, um, being safe and all that good stuff, and uh, be kind to each other. If you have any uh, beef, if you're beefing out there, settle it. Life's too short. Bye.